luxury. This is such an overused word nowadays. But what if you do want a luxury electric SUV? What are your choices? Well, you can go with Mercedes, BMW, Audi, just like everybody else. But don't we all want to be a little bit different, a little bit more unique? So what then? Well, here's an idea. Genesis GV70 Electrified. We already have the GV70 with a combustion engine, but as with everything in life, it's all about choices. Now this car starts from 72,000 Swiss francs in Switzerland, more or less an equivalent of euros. Just to give you an idea, BMW iX3 starts from 96,000. So we're talking 24,000 difference. Can we actually compare these two cars? And if so, we've been completely mad paying 24K extra for a batch. What is the story actually? One, two, two three. feel to drive it is amazing it's very relaxing I'm driving on what's so called the one pedal drive which means I'm not touching the brake pedal as soon as I lift my foot off the throttle the car slows down and it will come to a complete stop brilliant in a congested city and it also charges your battery I'm having my seat massage activating and I'm absolutely loving it now, of course, we've got no combustion engine, so the car is very quiet to start with. But to take matters even further, we've got a special system. So I've got microphones and sensors built in to make our ride peaceful, quiet, serene. Same idea as with noise cancelling headphones. Now, can you feel bumps, potholes, imperfections? Nope. Yet another brilliant system. So the sat nav and the front camera feed it to predict what's ahead of us. <laughs> it's just velvety, it's silky, it's so smooth. I mean, this is such a brilliant long distance cruiser. Just because we are peaceful and loving SUV, it doesn't mean we are sleepy. Because with the press of a single button called Boost. <laughs> yep, Boost and boom. Nice work, Genesis. I mean, after all, we do have 435 horsepower and zero to 100 is only 4.2 seconds. I'm absolutely loving it. So in a normal mode, when you go on a twisty road, you do feel the weight of this car, but it doesn't mean it leans around the corner, not at all, quite the opposite. But as soon as you flick it to sport mode, well, matters do sharpen. The suspension is stiffen. <laughs> the steering is, it's got some weight added. So it's sharper, it's quicker, and it really does become quite a sporty SUV. I like it, I like it a lot. And of course the throttle response, I mean, you put your foot down and boom, this thing goes. It is a solid injection of energy, this whole boost uh, button, I mean. <laughs> In a comfort mode, the steering is nice and light. You don't have to twist and turn until your arm falls off. We've got good all around visibility, great cameras, good turning circle which is exactly what makes this car a solid all-rounder back seat let's check it out beautiful solid doors so the front seat I have adjusted for my height just over 1.7 meters 5 foot 7 a very generous amount of space for your legs and for your head beautiful sunroof like that middle seat the floor here is nearly flat which means that you can actually fit a medium-sized adult well well Genesis has done very well this 
space here. Oh, hi, and what about the boot space? We've got plenty of room to carry all your clutter, including a people. Length of my long legs. And that's enough about the boot space. Okay, charging time. So I'm at the Ionity Rapid Charger, just off the motorway, very convenient. This machine can pump 350 kilowatts. Now Genesis can take about 233 kilowatts. Theory into practice, I seem to be staying at about 130 kilowatts. So you just gotta keep that in mind because even though the charger says it's rapid, mm, not every charger is the same. But the good news is the range. So long distance journeys, motorway, just motorway, and I'm getting about 380 kilometers, 240 miles. And that is during late autumn. If you just trot around town, reasonably mild weather, you will get over 450 kilometers, which is 280 miles. And I wanna point out that Genesis holds its range really well. You don't have to nanny the throttle pedal, which is something I really appreciate. So, can this car compete with the likes of BMW, Mercedes, Audi? Of course it can, and it should. The thing is, if you're looking for the value for your money, it wipes them all off. If you're happy to pay for the badge, by all means, but it doesn't change the fact that this is one of the prettiest and most elegant SUVs available on the market. There, I said it. Thank you very much for watching.